Hello and welcome to our video contribution for the Kai Play 2022. My name is Morva Saiti and I'm happy to present our work about the social media analysis of players' experiences with location-based games. We did a study on the most popular location-based game Pokemon Go during the COVID-19 pandemic. Pokemon Go is a free-to-play location-based augmented reality mobile game which seeks to motivate players to exercise, play together, and explore the real world. With the one set of the COVID-19 pandemic, Niantic, the creator of Pokemon Go, in response to the pandemic-related health and safety concerns, changed various game mechanics in its mobile games to accommodate increased social distancing. Niantic prioritized features that can be enjoyed in individual settings. Since Pokemon Go generated, around 1 billion in revenue during the pandemic, and it is greater than the peak usage in 2016, we hypothesize that in-game adjustments and remote playing have been well received by players. Accordingly, this study seeks to learn first how players adopt the new updates of play, including indoor and remote play elements, and second, which type of players leverage the game's social distancing adjustments. The three major contributions of this study for the HCI community are first, an understanding of players' practices and experiences before and during the pandemic in the context of the Pokemon Go. Second, how social distancing approaches in the game affect Pokemon Go players' perceptions. And third, identifying benefited players along with the key game elements that accommodate remote play experience. Social media platforms deliver unobstructed user expressions and reactions of users on a large scale. Therefore, there are a rich medium for conducting research in the age of remote life. Reddit is one of the most favored online destinations for gamers to discuss their experiences, game updates, and tips and tricks. As such, we selected Reddit as the social media source of the data for this study. We scraped top-level comments from one of the popular and the most viewed subreddits related to Pokemon Go, which is Pokemon Go and Reddit, then based on the World Health Organization at the start date of the COVID-19 pandemic, we segmented the dataset into two categories, pre-COVID and during COVID. To analyze data, we adopted a multi-method approach, a machine learning technique, latent richlet allocation for coherent topic modeling, and a qualitative approach following the guidance of ref reflexive thematic analysis. We chose a data-informed approach to use both intuition and data. As data represents, socialization is a major part of playing Pokemon Go, and there is a transition from in-person to virtual in social-related game features. Another predominant topic by Pokemon Go players revolves around the exploration and exercising aspect of the game. For instance, issues related to catching various types of Pokemon Go in different environmental conditions or advantages like how in-game features encourage them to walk. With regard to COVID-19 pandemic, players talked about the impacts of stay-at-home game changes on their experiences. With the beginning of COVID-19 happening, we observed conflicts between players in terms of continuing to play or stopping playing during March 2020 because of the quarantine and lockdown conditions. We also identified that Reddit community members discussed game mechanics, playing conditions, and the risk of getting sick with the start of the COVID. Moreover, Niantic made some changes to Pokemon Go to accommodate stay-at-home restrictions and safer forms of play. They called it embracing real-world gaming from home. We noticed that most of the players quickly adapted to the new changes and even enjoyed the game more during COVID-19 because of the game's quarantine compatible updates. In addition, the Reddit discussions revolve around the reasons players choose spoofing and what are their justifications for doing that. We observed that players did not need to spoof as COVID-19 adjustment made many game elements playable for all players without leaving the house. 
Furthermore, the Reddit analysis revealed different types of players affected by the game's social distancing adjustments, which may have been unprivileged of enjoying the game before. For instance, prior work indicates that urban players have different advantages over those who live in rural or suburban areas regarding accessing to game items. Whereas during the pandemic, players who live in rural areas leverage the lockdown game changes to participate in remote raid battles, level up by using incenses, and connect with more players. We also figured out that Pokemon Go did not accommodate well for those who had mobility issues or who were unable to walk long distances before the pandemic. But since several game mechanics have changed to accommodate navigating lockdown, such as increased in interaction distance or no walking requirement for Go Battle League, many players with disabilities who were stuck indoors enjoy the game and feel more connected with the community of players. Their research findings indicate that in-game adjustments affected players' experiences both positively and negatively. For instance, rural players or players with disabilities who have been unprivileged to enjoying the game before could leverage the changes, while who live near the gyms or Pokestops leverage the changes negatively and took advantage of these changes in a way that goes against the game's goals. Despite advantages of bringing diversity, comfort, and safety that come with digital socializations, the remote game features like remote raiding can cause disadvantages such as reducing exercise exploration and in-person social interaction. With respect to considerations for game design and our findings, we provide several suggestions. First, game designers need to consider a wide range of players and their concerns during the design procedure and deliver semi-customized features based on players' locations and movement patterns. Second, they need to be aware of the potential consequences of in-game changes and continuously evaluate these modifications to deliver alternatives aligned with the main game's goals. Third, location-based game designers need to consider place-person interaction distances as an important factor during this, um, design decisions. Fourth, location-based game designers need to deliver a hybrid version of the game to make it more enjoyable for a wide variety of players. Besides, if game designers aim to encourage in-person game features and experiences, discouraging remote features does not address this issue. Rather, they need to make in-person elements more rewarding. Fifth, they need to be aware that gratifications and values associated with spending time outdoors and exercising may easily be dissuaded for convenience. In summary, we used mixed method analysis of Reddit top-level comments in the context of Pokemon Go to understand the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent socially distanced game adjustments on players' perceptions. We also discussed which types of players benefit from these changes and which key game elements support Pokemon Go with the social distancing approach. Our findings are useful to location-based game researchers and developers in understanding the potential of these games to provide hybrid game experiences, including both outdoor and indoor features. I want to thank you all for listening and my co-authors Derek Haik, Mohamed Reza Beki, Taha Hassan and Dr. Scott Mikrigert for collaborating on this project.